Around the world, BIM is a crucial and even increasingly mandatory process to ensure that the planning, design and construction of buildings is highly efficient and collaborative. What is BIM? BIM is an acronym for Building Information Modeling or Building Information Management. It is a highly collaborative process that allows architects, engineers, real estate developers, contractors, manufacturers and other construction professionals to plan, design and construct a building, bridge, road, etc. within a 3D model. It can also span into the operation and management of buildings using data that building or structure owners have access to, hence the building information management. This data allows governments, municipalities, and property managers to make informed decisions based on information derived from the model, even after a building is constructed. From blueprints to CAD to BIM. In the past, blueprints and drawings were used to express information about a particular building plan. This 2D approach made it very difficult to visualize dimensions and requirements. Next came CAD, computer-aided design, which helped drafters see the benefit of plans in a digital environment. Later on, CAD turned 3D, which brought more realistic visuals to blueprints. Now, BIM is the standard, but it is much more than just a 3D model. BIM objects. BIM objects, the components that make up a BIM model, are intelligent, have geometry, and store data. If any element is changed, BIM software updates the model to reflect that change. This allows the model to remain consistent and coordinated throughout the entire process so that structural engineers, architects, MEP engineers, designers, project managers, and contractors can work in a more collaborative environment. The I in BIM. BIM, as a whole, refers to the process of all parties involved in the construction and lifecycle management of built assets, working collaboratively and sharing data. However, the true power of BIM lives in the I information. All of the information gathered, from conception to completion, isn't just stored, it's actionable. The data can be used to improve accuracy, express design intent from the office to the field, improve knowledge transfer from stakeholder to stakeholder, reduce change orders and field coordination problems, and provide insight into existing buildings for renovation projects later on. How is BIM information shared? This information in a BIM model is shared through a mutually accessible online space known as a Common Data Environment CDE, and the data collected is referred to as an information model. Information models can be used at all stages of a building's life, from inception to operation, and even renovations and renewals. Now that we've covered what BIM is and how it can be used, let's move on to BIM levels. What are BIM levels? Different levels of BIM can be achieved for various types of projects. Each level represents a different set of criteria that demonstrates a particular level of maturity. BIM levels start with zero and the higher they get the better the collaboration. The purpose of these levels is to gauge how effectively or how much information is being shared and managed throughout the entire process. So what does each level involve and how can you identify which at which level you're working? Below are brief descriptions of the first three levels and an explanation of what criteria is involved at each stage. Level 0 BIM. Paper-based drawings plus zero collaboration. Level 0 BIM refers to not operating collaboratively at all. If you're using 2D CAD and working with drawings and or digital prints, you can safely say you're at level 0. Today, most of the industry is working above this level, although not every professional in the industry has sufficient BIM training and some projects do not include the use of BIM in contract specifications. Level 1 BIM. 2D construction drawings plus some 3D modeling. Using 3D CAD for concept work, but 2D for drafting production information and other documentation, probably means you're working level 1 BIM. At this level, CAD standards are managed to the standard of BS 1192 to 2007, and electronic sharing of data carried out from a common data environment, CDE, usually managed by the contractor. Many firms are at level 1 BIM, which doesn't involve much collaboration, and each stakeholder publishes and manages their own data. Level 2 BIM. Teams work in their own 3D models. At BIM Level 2, a collaborative environment becomes increasingly important. BIM Level 2 was actually made a mandatory requirement in April of 2016 on all publicly tendered projects in the UK. France followed shortly after with their own mandate in 2017. At Level 2, all team members use 3D CAD models but sometimes not in the same model. 
However, the way in which stakeholders exchange information differentiates it from other levels. Information about the design of a built environment is shared through a common file format. When firms combine this with their own data, they save time, reduce costs, and eliminate the need for rework. Since data is shared this way, the CAD software must be capable of exporting to a common file format, such as IFC, Industry Foundation Class, or COBE, Construction Operations Building Information Exchange. Level 3 BIM. Teams work with a shared 3D model. BIM Level 3 is even more collaborative. Instead of each team member working in their own 3D model, Level 3 means that everyone uses a single, shared project model. The model exists in a central environment and can be accessed and modified by everyone. Working with open standards such as IFC, IDM, COBE and so on is widely applicable here. Benefits of Level 3 BIM are Better 3D visualization of the entire project Easy collaboration between multiple teams and trades Simplified communication and understanding of design intention Reduced rework and revisions at every stage of the project Exchange through Open standards which improves information exchange Different dimensions in relation to a building information model In addition to BIM levels 0 through 3 you also have various dimensions in relation to a building information model. 4D brings a new element into the information model, time. This information includes scheduling data that helps outline how much time each phase of the project will take or sequencing of various components. This is also often represented in time and schedule simulations. 5D adds cost estimations, budget analysis, and budget tracking to the building information model. When working at this level of BIM, Project owners can track and determine what costs will be incurred during the length of the project. 6D information is useful for calculating the energy consumption of a building before it's built. This ensures that designers take into account more than just the upfront costs of an asset. Level 6 BIM ensures accurate predictions of energy consumption requirements and empowers stakeholders to build structures that are energy efficient and sustainable. Benefits of 4D, 5D and 6D BIM more efficient site planning and scheduling more efficient handoffs between steps in the construction stage real-time cost visualization simplified cost analysis reduced energy consumption in the long run better operational management of the building or structure after handover efficient handling and storage of data no doubt the future of construction will become even more collaborative and digital as bim becomes more sophisticated 4d 5D and even 6D BIM will play an increasing role in the process. In addition, there is a global effort to reduce waste in construction. Much of this is attributed to supply chain inefficiencies, collisions and rework. Working together in a BIM environment makes all of this much less likely and paves the way for a better future.